konserto sa Palacio ay isang concert series na handog ng pamahalaan para sa mga Pilipino. At sa pangatlong pagkakataon ay magkakaroon uli nito sa darating na October 1. Para ating pong malaman kung ano yung mga dapat abangan dito, makakasama po natin ngayon si Presidential Communications Office Director for Broadcast Production, Ma'am Chris Villonco. Good morning, Director. Good morning, Sir. Good morning, Ma'am. And uh, so happy na nandito ako finally. Live. Live na. Mm -hmm. Hindi na tayo sa Zoom at wala na akong excuse. <laughs> nandito na talaga ako and napakasaya ko na nandito kami to share this wonderful news with you again. Okay, Miss Chris, considering that this is the third time you're going to do this, paano ba nagsimula tong Concerto sa Palasyo? And ano ang layunin nito? Okay, ang Concerto sa Palasyo nagsimula po yan noong April ng 2023. At ang layunin nito is actually initiative po siya ng Office of the President to give a platform sa ating creative industries, sa ating mga performing artists. Maraming nagtanong nga kung dapat nga kailangan mainstream artists or kilalang kilal na. Mm -hmm. Actually, this initiative is really for those that are up and coming, rising, and should be recognized from all of, for all parts of the Philippines. Actually, nung second concerto sa Palacio, which featured... Um, which gave tribute to the Philippine athletes. We even had a Filipino from Switzerland. So mm -hmm. we are very grateful to have a guest like that. Pero really, lahat ng mga artists natin nanggagaling from different parts of the Philippines, yung mga nagbabiral, yung mga nagpa-perform, or who are finding ways to be able to perform and survive the pandemic, no? Artistically and as well as make a little money from it also. So this mm -hmm. is our way for also to showcase and feature wonderful artists na kung ano-ano mga ginagawa. Meron tayong mga beatboxers, meron tayong rappers, meron, of course, hindi tayo nawawala ng powerhouse vocalists ever. Tapos, meron din tayong spoken word poetry. And all of these artists, thank God naman, meron naman po silang, ano, they, because of Concerto sa Palacio din, they were able to also have other opportunities as well. Well, actually, nung pinapanood ko yung second concert mm. sa Malacanang, mm. may nakilala akong singer doon, mm. si Joe Peril. Si Joe Peril, yeah, yes. Uh, uh, siya yung kumanta na nag-viral noon nung ginawa niyang kanta yung naging message ni Kim Chu, yung artista oh, na si Kim lumabas. Chu, na bawal lumabas. <laughs> <laughs> so, nakita yes. ako nagpe-perform doon. Super talented. Actually, favorite yan ni Undersecretary Franz Imperial. Mm. Siya talaga ang nag-push kay Joe Peril dahil fan siya noon at lagi siyang nanonood sa mga videos ni Joper mm -hmm. nung pandemya pa. So talagang you can see that kahit sa broadcast production ng Presidential Communications Office, lahat ng mga tao doon, lahat ng aming mga team members, gustong-gustong manood, gustong-gustong mag-discover ng new talents, not, not necessarily mean na younger talents, dahil meron din kami noon nung concerto sa Palacio One, meron din kaming mga harpists, mm -hmm. mag-among street harpists na galing Cebu. Wow. So, you know, we, we really... Uh, Uh, try and promote Concerto sa Palacio para for everyone to send their videos. At nagpapasalamat sa, kami sa lahat na nagpa-follow ng aming Facebook pages, Facebook page ng Concerto sa Palacio. And also, tune in to Concerto sa Palacio live sa aming mga Facebook pages ng uh, Concerto sa Palacio at Radio Television Malacanang. Okay, so, pero... Pwede ka pa, rapper. Rapper po <laughs> oh, siya. Yes, so, go! Na <laughs> Grabe. Yes, Say that yes. to rapper pa, no? Anyway, uh, Ma'am Chris, uh, ito po yung pangatlo na, no? Na yes. Concerto sa Palacio. Ano po yung magiging tema nito? Ito naman po ay para sa ating mga guro. Okay? And ito naman po ay featuring the sacrifices the and honoring the, the teachers of the Philippines. So this will, it, it really ranges from even OFW teachers. Meron din po kaming na-interview doon. Kasi not only do we have artists that we feature, but we also pay tribute to a specific sector. And this time around, ito po ang ating teachers. And the Department of Education will be bringing in over 300 teachers to the Malacanang grounds on October 1 para makapanood ng concerto sa Palacio. Wow. Actually, para ang ganda ng initiative na to dahil talagang they'll really feel empowered and appreciated. Yes, no? it's, it's definitely one way also to boost confidence, mm. to give morale, you know, to have all this positivity also, and of course, being grateful that they are there. Yes, okay. Since concerto sa Palacio is, is series to of concerts, no? Yes. Um, which will happen October 1, magkakaroon pa ba ng iba pang mga ganitong event? this year? Right now, we are hoping, well, ang KSP or Concerto mm. sa Palacio, tatlo na po yan ngayon. Mm. And actually, we were thinking this would be a quarterly event oh, wow. rather than something that was practically now almost every month. Mm. Pero dahil nagiging popular na din siya, grateful na din po kami sa lahat ng sumusuporta. But for now, 
I do hope that we will be able to continue this the following year. But as you know, Christmas season is really oh, quite yes. a busy time for everybody. Kaya nga. Well, mga ka-RSP, ah, kasama rin po natin ngayon ang actress-singer and she also played the lead role <laughs> sa hit musical na Miss Saigon. Isa rin siya sa magpe-perform sa upcoming concerto sa Palacio. Welcome po natin sa Rising Shine Pilipinas si Miss Ima Castro. Good morning po. Good morning. Okay, Miss Ima, okay. anong pakiramdam mo na isa ka sa mga magpo-perform sa concerto sa Palacio para sa mga guro? Ano yung mga dapat naming abangan sa yung magiging performance? I am very grateful that um, I was invited to be part of this very special tribute sa ating mga guro ng Palacio. And uh, actually, uh, I've heard about the first two concierto sa Palacio and I was like dreaming of, I hope one day I get to be part of it. And so I'm very grateful to Direk for asking me, of course, and I am so excited to work with other brilliant artists sa October 1. So, abangan niyo po yan. Ayan. Miss Ima, medyo matagal-tagal na rin po mula nang makita ka ng iyong mga fans at iba pang mga kababayan natin sa TV or on stage. Magtutuloy-tuloy po ba yung iyong pagbabalik? How do you have uh, do you have any uh, plans on releasing new music or maybe other projects, ma'am? Well, yeah, I just finished um, concert series in USA and uh, Canada. I just came back five days ago. And uh, hopefully, I will do more of that. And of course, corporate events here and musical musicals, dito sa Pilipinas and abroad. Hope, hopefully. Okay, for Miss Ima and for Miss Chris, please invite our mga viewers now, no? Na supportahan ng concerto sa Palacio. At san ba ito mapapanood? Siguro, let's start with Miss Ima first. Oh, well, I guess um, na may special invites for, for the teachers. Uh, sa Palacio to be there with us. Uh, it will be at the Malacanang grounds. And then, uh, sa RTVM, um, it will be shown uh, and Facebook live feed as well. So, abangin nyo po yan. Ang saya-saya ng konsyerto po. Promise. Miss Chris? Hello po. Uh, once again, I'm Chris Villionco po from the Presidential Communications Office at iniimbitahan po namin kayo na manood ng konsyerto sa Palacio para sa mahal nating mga guro. Sa, sa October 1 na po ito, sa Sunday, 6.30pm, you can tune in live Facebook page namin ng konsyerto sa Palacio at syempre po sa Radio Television Malacanang Facebook page at YouTube channel. This time around, pinifeature po namin ang ating mga mahal na guro from all over, from all the Filipino teachers from all parts of the world. And Napaka grateful po kami sa inyo. Actually, can I just add that Ima's mom was a teacher. Oh, wow. teacher. And so this is a really even if you watch Ima's video, it's actually quite emotional. Dahil nga po meron siyang ano talaga. There is a special place in her heart for teachers, and we know that. We know that we, they 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 really do encourage us, and they are one of our second parents, really. So, once again, we are so grateful for you. At sana ma-enjoy nyo po ito sa Sunday. And exciting, yes. ha? Abangan natin lahat yes. yan. Oh, when we are very honored and blessed to have you both Thank here you today. So much. Maraming salamat sa pagbisita sa amin this morning. Director Chris Villionco, ang PCO Director for Broadcast Production. And maraming salamat din, ha? Kay Ms. Ima Castro. Again, thank you and congratulations agad sa share to sa Palacio. <laughs> Siyempre, hindi naman pwedeng palalagpasin natin na hindi tayo bibigyan mm -hmm ng uh, pasilip sa magaganap sa concerto mm -hmm. sa Palacio. To sing for us this morning, here is Miss Ima Castro. Hold 
Make you feel my 